Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Upland Sports Centre. Just wanted to do a little virtual tour for you all, just so you could see all the precautions we put in place to reopen hopefully on the 25th of July in about 10 days time. When you first turn up to the Sports Centre, we will ask everybody if they can sanitise their hands before, before entering and also follow the one-way system. So if you can come in through the entrance, the first time you turn up, you'll notice we've now got screens up at reception um, and we will ask you to fill out our policies and procedures at the table here. Um, we will send these out to you as well via email. So to save time on your first time back, if you want to print that out and fill that out and bring it in with you, then that would be great. Otherwise, we'll have hard copies here for you to sign. Um, obviously, we've got a new sanitizer station here as well. So please do hand sanitize there. And you can also join online here as well. This is exactly the same as the, what you can access at home. So that may be easier and you may prefer to use your own device to sign back up online. There will be a discount code to rejoin. So we'll send that out with this video as soon as possible. We will then need you to use your membership card to swipe through here for your track and trace through the building. Then heading down through the sports center, there's a little pinch point just here. So please just keep an eye out for anyone coming up and down the stairs. We have got turning areas down here. So if you see someone coming up, if you can just wait and let them pass before you go back down. But one of the big changes we've made is we've moved our studio now into the small sports hall. So all classes now will take place in here at least up till September. And as you can see, we've got a quite a decent space in here. Um, we've got 24 pods. You can just about see the markings on the floor. They're three meters by two meters, so plenty of space. Every single pod will have its own equipment with its own Milton spray and wipes as well. So we will be asking for everybody to wipe down their equipment before they use it and afterwards. We'll also make sure the fire escapes are open all around and the doorway down through here so we get a decent amount of air flow through the building to get which will be good um, so I said 24 spaces in the class so you, you'll always be able to get into the classes which is great and you can see the amount of space that you're going to have and the amount of air volume you've got in here okay so heading back out of here What this has now obviously meant is it meant the studio is now free. So we've now turned this into an extra gym space. So heading up to here, you'll be able to use this area for an overflow from the main gym. There's another hand sanitizing point here. And into the studio, but is now the overflow gym. You now see you can come up here, you can do some cardio, you can do your functional exercises, have your own music on, but plenty of space to spread out and do some of your more functional moves up here. Heading back out, in the toilets, what we are gonna try and do is make sure there's wipes and a bin in there as well so we will ask you to wipe the toilet seat before you use it and afterwards there's antibacterial soap in there and we will ask to use hand sanitizer after each use heading back down to the gym what that's now meant is we've managed to move a lot of equipment around so to use the giant Sports Hall 2 and the studio has freed up a lot more space down here. So first thing into the free weights room. You can see we've now got four pods 
to work out in. So one person per pod. We can have people in the walkway waiting to use the pod, but make sure you're at least two meters apart. Plenty of Milton spray again around here with lots of tissue to wipe down machines before and after use. Heading back into the main gym. We've now got this walkway, same as the free weights room. We're asking everybody to try and stay on the pathways if you're not using a piece of equipment. So if you get off a piece of equipment, back onto the pathway and move on to your, for your next piece, your next workout. Um, again, lots of sprays around, so please remember to wipe down equipment before and after use. Some of the treadmills are put out of action that are, are very close to each other, but we have managed to move around a lot of the machines, so there's extra space in between the cardio machines as well. So again, staying on the path down here and moving on down here as well. So I hope that gives you an idea that we've got plenty of precautions in place. Um, lots of antibacterial spray and gels around the building. So please use these as much as possible. We are planning on opening on the 25th of July. Uh, we'll be posting a lot more information about the classes that we'll have on, that you'll be able to attend, and some discount codes on all of our memberships. So actually there'll be financially a never a better time to join the sports centre than now. But hopefully you found this useful. Uh, there'll be more precautions put in place as well before you come in on the 25th. But this just gives you an idea that we're ready and waiting to reopen. Hope to see you all soon. Thanks, bye.